Hi everybody, this is Jacob Vile. Today I got a video update for my system here. Uh, 418, is anybody new watching? Welcome to my channel. Uh, I've got some new power in the back I'll be showing you today as well as show you some good clamp number results on this test as well as, hey, gonna do a couple of demo songs and give you some more info about the build today. So uh, stay tuned and uh, gonna enjoy the video. So here's the amplifier that I got installed. If you haven't seen the previous video, go ahead and check it out. Link in the description. It is the XAD 17. So this is the X series from MVX. I actually wanted to get it installed, toy with it for a little bit. The 8001 amp I had wasn't enough power for the subs to even get them moving hardly. So I wanted to try out a little bit of a bigger amp before I go with my official actual amplifiers I'm going to be running. So this is a trial amplifier and I'm going to be doing a couple of demo songs today on this. So this is the X-Series amplifiers I did a video on. Definitely recommend checking out. Really good clamp result numbers on that. And at the end of this video, I'll actually show you uh, new test results on it. So anyway, uh, also the last video I posted a week ago, I hope you enjoyed that with the lithium batteries. So I have underground lithium as well now. This is the 100 amp hour, different options you can check out. I really suggest y'all watching that video, show you a full install and review on it. So I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. So this is the amplifier I have. This is the 13,500 watt amp. I have my wiring system here set up the way I can actually wire, whether I go with one amp, four amps, two amps, or eight, I'm able to do everything right here. I don't even have to go into my subwoofer box and I'm happy with it. And uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, test I'll be showing later. I actually do a clamp test later in this video. You'll see where I can actually show you how much power I clamped out of this amplifier. Right now I'm rising to over 2.2 ohm at my peak frequency, 47 hertz. And uh, I actually did a SPL test video on this on my second channel. You uh, should definitely check that one out too if you want to see how much power and actually how much SPL score was. I remember it was over a 160. I'm not going to say the exact number. you got to check it out. But I do a lot of more build system updates on the second channel. But that's how it's looking right now for the back. So I have the 13.5K amp. This is 1 ohm where it's wired to. Of course, it's not going to do 13,000 watts because of my rise and also a little bit of voltage drop. But definitely getting my power worth out of it. Better than 8,000, so a couple thousand more watts I was gaining. And I've got the 100 amp hour lithium back here. So now let's go ahead and look underneath the front real quick. All right, so I have the Neo 4.7 Phi 18s in here, four of them in a five to one ratio, fourth order. Previous video update I did about a month ago showing you the install, the subs, my first flex test. I hope you all enjoyed that. It was actually pretty cool to see how much these subs were moving with that single 8,000 watt amp I have. And now I have this amplifier. And then the next video update you see will actually be with the even more power and we'll see actually how it does. And I'll be doing testing videos on the second channel to kind of see how the SPL score changes, if my peak frequency changes, how much louder it gets just by adding a little bit of power. And actually it's gonna be pretty exciting. The subwoofers have only got about maybe three or four hours of, of actual break-in time so far on them. They're really tight, tight subwoofers for the suspension. So I gotta get at least 15 to 20 hours on them to where I feel comfortable to know that they're loose enough to get the max capacity out of them. Um, of course, break-in isn't a myth. It actually does affect your low-end response and some other things, but I'm not going to talk about that in this video. And uh, thank you all for watching and being subscribed, checking out all my videos. And a uh, shout out to NVX, great amplifier. I'm actually about to do a two-song demo and then show you all the clamp results on this amplifier. And I uh, wanted to say, I uh, had a couple of shows already this year I went to, planning to go to Sundown show this year the ruckus show this year also going to be going to slamology and we're going to the mississippi show the uh scraping the coast so those are some of the big shows i'm planning to be at you might actually see this video after i've been to slamology just because of how video rollout goes but i hope everybody's enjoying the videos i do every single day and uh thank you phi and mvx great subwoofers from phi and the amplifier so it's really good results that I'm about to show you after this demo. So let's see how this thing sounds with a little bit more power. All right, so we're gonna do 25 Hertz first.
the subsonic up so it's not getting as much power with the low end. <laughs> oh, it made me sneeze. Sorry about that. Uh, subsonic's up a little bit, so I'm still breaking them in, so I'm definitely not going to go full tilt, have it turned down a little bit on the base knob. But got some little bit of a uh, flex action there with the shirt. Uh, once I get them broken in all the way, I feel more comfortable with turning it up. So now let me put this window up, and uh, we'll play some... Uh, all right, so now I'm gonna play the uh, 47 Hertz tone. This is my favorite bass track. On my second channel, I actually have the track. I'll put a link in the description if you wanna see it. This is 47 Hertz. This is what it likes with somebody in the seat. Uh, with me not in the seat, it's 48, 49. But let's see how it does. Window up demo. And I got a camera right there. Let's see the flex on the door. like a 60 61 right here over there it's probably at least a 61 62 oh man that is some brace base pressure there and i got a little video i'll show you too with the door flex i hope y'all enjoyed that uh, i can't play too long in the neighborhood i definitely wanted to get a demo or two out for y'all to enjoy as well so you got a 26 hertz frequency tone subs are still breaking in so i got some time still to work on them don't want to full tilt it and the next video you see will be with a new amp once again, really nice job. A uh, powerful little amplifier there. Putting out for that small footprint space is what I mean. Uh, it's uh, rated at 13,000 watts. Clamp results you're about to see now. And uh, you'll see how much power it's actually putting out. Rising to 2.2 uh, ohm. So let's go ahead and send you that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Enjoy the clamp numbers on this amp. All right, so I've got my amplifier right here on the 100 amp hour lithium installed. So I'm going to be measuring the amperage clamped, the voltage coming through the positive clamp wire of my 418 speaker system. I also have my meter here to look at my voltage drop. I'm gonna be in the vehicle. I'm gonna do a 47 Hertz, seven to eight second burnt full tilt, and we'll see what the clamping numbers are, how my voltage drop is revved. Probably around 280 to 290 amps of alternator, so definitely a little low for this 100 amp hour lithium, but it'll give me some real world perspective and also see my clamping numbers. So these two numbers I'll talk about afterward. So you're going to multiply the numbers and divide them for your impedance rise. Find out how much RMS clamping number is. And this is a pretty close measure. So here we go. Those are the numbers I have. I multiplied the two numbers and got a little over 6,200 watts at high 12s, low 13 volt range. This amplifier is rated at 8,000 watts at 2 ohm, and that's at 14 volt range, so really close numbers. Uh, if you multiply the numbers out, it equals right around 13,800 watts if you did the exact number at 1 ohm, which of course I am battling rise, and this is a real world test using your clamp meter. So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more and check out the links in the description.